Hey everyone, we are on our way right now to the coastal bogs of North Carolina to a very special location. It is one of the only remaining habitats where Venus flytraps live in situ in their native habitat. So I've got little Henster Leaf. It's going to be his trip down uh, for the first time. Not that he'll remember it, but there will be many trips after that. And my beautiful, wonderful wife, Sarah, very focused on the road. And then also got our awesome friends and my personal plant mentor back behind us, Brandon Huber and his girlfriend, Kristen. So it's going to be a great day. So here we are in the coastal savannas. I know exactly. Yeah. Into the, into the heart of, call it like the Shangri-La of carnivorous plants. Look how dense this is right here. Like this has not been burned for a while. What is this? Yeah, did you see along the power line? So we have a lot of Bacteris helmillifolia, groundsel bush. We've got a lot of Myrica serifera, the wax myrtle, wax myrtle. Looks like there are some vaccinium species in here. Of course, we've got some loblolly pine. There's also longleaf pine around, but not right here. Um, the brush, the underbrush right here is really thick. So what will happen is they'll actually do controlled burns or burns can happen naturally, although recently they've done, you know, majority controlled burns. You kind of burn out this underbrush to allow a lot of plants to, uh, shoot, <laughs> a cricket just landed on my, um, my, my arm, but you can see where a burn has happened before on this pine tree and has charred the bark here. And that will clear out all this underbrush and really allow the carnivorous plants and other types of plants to thrive in this area yeah oh, I was just stepped on some. and and they have the most beautiful red color of any fly traps i've seen and like, yeah. it's right next to this little nice little saracenia flower that's still they're looking everywhere. good yeah they're everywhere it's like a carpet of them if you if you look for them i want the densest population it's hard yeah. This is, Dude, look, there's a little pinguicula right the there. Population in the look world. at this, look at this, Brandon. One of the few. There's this uh, tiny little pinguicula right oh, yeah. here, and it's next to a Drosera. Nice. Yeah, wow, that's really cool. This is just perfect home for the Dionia. It's so dry. It is it's very just, dry. Usually this is mushy. Yeah, it's like we're stepping on. I mean, we've gotten our socks wet oh, to our yeah. ankles before. This is like as dry as we've seen it. Yeah, I agree. In the years we've known it. I think this is what our fourth year back here. You see all those brown? That's all the pictures. There's a nice Drosera right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. Gosh, that's usually all water there. You can. Before. No, I never have. Their their first year, it's they're like. It's a, it's hilarious how small they are, and they work too. That's crazy. Well, I guess they have to. Yeah, they're. And that one's huge. That's fly trap. That's beautiful. That's a really nice one. I guess any swampy habitat with the burn spills off with all the lower limbs. There's a selection called Brunswick Beauty from Brunswick County. Uh, it's a black, purpley. It looks like these, actually. Oh, here it is. This has the eye. The natural oh, hybrid. Yeah, yeah the hybrid two. between the two. You could tell because really? it's not tall and it's not short. It's, yeah, it's just it's, and it's got that weird, really heavy lid, real fat lid. Yeah, kind of like the purpurea. It's got the striping of the short parent, it's and then it's really got cool. height of a big parent. See, that's his parent. That's all right. So one really cool thing is at this pond, there's a baby gator. I don't know if you can see those yellow stripes. His tail has been bitten off, but he's just kind of hanging out right there. But we're probably gonna leave him alone because. The mother gators actually stay with their young for the first year, and we don't want to find ourselves in a bad situation. 